everybody's talking about the Knicks because we're going to go viral. And you either got to love us or you got to hate us. You ha- It is no in between anymore. None. My, None. my clown on ESPN, I heard you. We heard you. Candace Parker, you keep talking to us about us. You want some sympathy. You're not getting it. Stop playing with us. Listen, we're being very nice to you. Just understand that. We have a lot of comedians in New York. You better relax, Candace, Candace Parker. You're back at it again with this devilish material. Yeah, let's see. Candace Parker from TNT. You know what she said, that we can't win. Brunson ain't no 1A, whatever the hell she was talking about. And she, this is her response to that, revisiting. Well, I feel like, first of all, I love all Knicks fans, and I get it. Parker said Tuesday on a Zoom call from TNT. What I was alluding to was the fact that in the first round of the playoffs, he, Jalen Brunson, was the best player on the court against Donovan Mitchell. He was the best player on the court. And the second round, especially on the defensive end, Miami picked on him a great deal. And Jimmy Butler was, in fact, the best player on the court. And my thing was, basically, it was no slight on Jalen Brunson. I think he makes everybody better around him. I think he makes winning plays. I think what the Knicks have done in this trade in the season, they have surrounded him with the, with defense, which was something they struggled with last year and getting stops against Miami in the playoffs. So that was my hot take. Now, hold on. Before we get to that, shout out to New York Knicks basketball on Twitter. They are amazing. I love them because they go and they'll get receipts. Right. They'll get receipts from anywhere. Love it. This is what she started with from the beginning. Listen, y'all, I'm a Bears fan. I get it, Knicks. Everything someone says, you take it personal. My comments yesterday have nothing to do with what I think about Brunson as a player. I think he's an uh, effing monster. I love Villanova guards and Jay Wright. Hell of a season. Yada, 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 yada. The question was, not can you win with a small player as your best player. It's can you win a championship with a small, pl- smaller player as your best player. Everyone throwing me, tweeting me stats. You are missing the point. A was my absolute favorite. Despite averaging 35, they lost to the Lakers. CP3, despite... Numbers lost. No one says Isaiah Thomas has won as the best player on their team and also being the smallest. Steph sort of counts, but he's an anomaly. It's the same questions people had about free throws and can you win with your best player, Giannis, can't hit free throws. It happened and people had to eat their words. All I'm saying is I hope Brunson makes me eat my words. Sincerely a sympathizing uh, Bears fan. You ain't getting no sympathy from me, Candace. Me neither. Loser. Excuse my I don't care how many championships you won. What are you talking about? Hold, hold, hold on. Hold on. Ahead. This is why I laugh, right? And Becky Hammond, did, like y'all are professionals. Y'all played at the highest level. <clears throat> Everybody says it's a team sport. Once again, tell me our Knicks, do we have a dominant big man? Do we have, before we got the team we have now, do we have a dominant big man? Do we have any shooters, any snipers? Do we have any superstars next to him? Do we not deal with injuries? Did we ever have a 3 and D guy that you need to win? Stop telling me what he can't do when he don't have the proper team structured around him. Can't nobody win if you ain't got the right team around you. LeBron got AD and he can't win. What are y'all talking about? Y'all see what Brunson doing now, right? So imagine healthy. You telling me right now the way this team is constructed healthy, they can't win a championship? If you say no, that means you're either a hater or you don't know the game. For one, y'all not getting no type of sympathy from me. Y'all can all kiss my you-know-what and go to H-E-L-L, all capital letters. That's a fact. Because y'all love to kick the Knicks when they down. Y'all love to hand on the Knicks for no apparent reason. But if there was any other player, if Trey Young, John Moran, Kyrie, Luca, if any of them was doing this in New York, Y'all will be praising them and y'all will be saying this is a championship contending team. But because of Jalen Brunson and he's not flashy and y'all hate the Knicks, y'all do nothing but look, throw dirt on us. But listen, you can't keep us down, baby. You can't keep us down. All of y'all going to have to retract everything. All of y'all. All of y'all. And I'm a, and I love, I can't wait to see it. I'm going to have my popcorn and my large ice water with lemon. And I'm going to watch all y'all retract everything. Because y'all starting to do it now. Becky Hammond, we still looking for you. Where you at? Where you at? Candace Parker fumbling and bumbling. Big shout out to Clyde. 
Look, now all of a sudden you leaving paragraphs on your platforms. Yeah, because you know, you know, yeah. Shaq, all y'all saying y'all lose subliminal. Yeah, yeah. We'll see y'all soon. Yeah. How How is it that she says Steph sort of? How is it that you have Allen Iverson there? You mentioned him, but failed to mention the fact that, again, who was his teammates? We love AI. He, he was the people's champion and everything. The whole Eastern Conference, nobody had a chance against the Lakers. Why? Because it's Shaq and Kobe. You start there. Then you got Phil Jackson. One of the best coaches, if not the best coach of his time. He just finished coaching Michael Jordan and, and Scottie Pippen, so he understood what the Lakers would be about. A hey, 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 Fabian, see what they do on TV. You got to remember what I always tell you. This is why our platform is the best. No knock to nobody. We show love to everybody. We love all platforms. Like, to be honest, we real good guys. We support everybody. But we're not afraid to be wrong. See, they hedge they bet. So what they do is they're going to say no small guy won. When we could name how many small players got their team to the chip. Chauncey Billups was the best player on that Detroit Pistons team. I understand how great Rasheed Wallace is. Let's not forget Tony Parker won a finals MVP. Zeke. Well, so, once again, when they say it's only one, no, we can give you three or four. Tiny Nate. These guys got there, bro. Being the best player on their team. It, they may not be the best player on that team as far as career-wise, but for that year, they was the best players. What you talking and, about? They, and you don't want to sit there and have a real conversation because, again, what I always point to is the top to the bottom. I bet you if Jerry Krause was running the Philadelphia 76ers, they would have surrounded AI with some damn talent. They would have known that, no, no disrespect, Matumbo, but we need a Rasheed Wallace over here. We need a Chris Webber over here. He needs a one-two punch. We need somebody to make the game easier for AI, which, which is what they're doing for Brunson right now. I just can't believe that. Favorite. Like. How do you how do you not understand that you're sitting up there and you don't again you always attacking the players and I disagree with you I think Ben Wallace is the best player on the Pistons teams and nobody talks about it but once again Ben Wallace was a six foot nine center oh, what, if it, if it was if it was up to them he would second round pick I don't know matter of fact he might be the best undrafted player of all time Ben Wallace is the ultimate underdog he's a six foot nine center in the era of big men. Yo, let, let me say this, right? When you get there, that means you have an opportunity to win. You can win. You just lose to the better team. No knock on Curry, but these analysts forget that first year they won, Curry and Kevin Love was hurt. We see what happened the next year. Now, granted, Curry did win one on his own against the Boston Celtics. Got to give him credit for that. But let's stop acting like Curry is the only small guard that got their team to a championship. Win or lose. See, they 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 slick on TV, man. They know how to word it to where they're going to look like they know what they're talking about. You're wrong. You're wrong. And, and how do you overlook the fact that we're going to keep on saying this? Isaiah Thomas, Zeke from the Bad Boy Pistons and Steph Curry, the number one thing about them has nothing to do with their game, really. All they ever talk about is the leadership. Yeah. AI don't even have if AI had this kind of leadership, he would be with, like it would be different. Because then all of a sudden he's talking about holding other people accountable. Yo, I need this kind of teammate. I gotta be honest. He like it's difficult. What Kobe Bryant ended up being ended up because he didn't start off that way. It was a grown man's league. He was a kid compared to these guys. He had to change up his leadership style. Jalen Brunson has entered the league like that. Luka Doncic is on JJ Reddick's show saying. They asked JJ Reddick asked him, was he great? Did you know he was great? Nah, hey, nah he was nice. Well, hold on, hold on, I knew hold on, he was great. Watch this. Let, 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 I'm gonna take it a step further. I'm gonna take it a step further. And you know me, I, I don't mind the backlash. The year Cleveland won. Isn't there some people that are saying Kyrie could have got finals MVP? Right. That year, I'm not saying Kyrie's better than LeBron. I'm not, I'm not getting into that. But let's stop acting like Kyrie ain't a small guard that got to the finals. And on any given day, he was the best player on that team, just like LeBron. And some people say he should have won finals MVP. Let's have real talk, man. Let's have real talk. Jalen Brunson is that guy. And when the team, you need a team. 
Of course a small guard can't get to the chip or win the finals if you don't have a team. If you don't have a shooting guard, you don't have a dominant center, you don't have a 3 and D guy. Are you You see some of these teams, how they constructed? Do you see the Denver Nuggets when they won? Did you see Giannis? Wait, then you have every position from one to eight. You got the you got the superstar. You got the dominant point guard. You got a great shooter. You got a dominant big man. You got a three and D. We just got that. We just got that. But once again, they switched the narrative for them to be right. Once again, right. we can we just named about 10 small guards that got to the finals. And but, let, but let's flip. But let's flip it because you hit on something that we always talk talk, talk about. Why is it that you're these guys that they that they put up on the pedestal? The LeBron, the Joker, Giannis, Embiid, or who else? SG, whoever they got, Ant Man, Tatum. All of a sudden, every why is Jason Tatum afforded every season the last five years? How come he gets a pass every year? Jalen Brunson does not have that team. He hasn't had a team like that in five years. But every year, and I've been saying this, Tatum, uh, oh boy, you know this, Tatum is soft. He's like Paul George. Why are y'all excusing that? I see, I'm watching ball, bro. Jalen wow. Brunson ain't got that fear in him like that. If Jalen Brunson had Tatum's ability, he'd be the best player in the NBA. Wow. Paul none. No, no, no jokes about it. No. Why do you keep giving these people passes when it comes to our guy? You want to go viral, man. You, 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 you ready for this one? Stay with me. Watch oh. this. Half these players can't win without a great guard. Did Kevin Durant win without Steph Curry? Did LeBron win without Kyrie? I'm just saying right there, great point Shaq. guard. Even with Rajon Rondo with the Lakers. What about Garnett and them with Rondo? Do they win those chips without those guards? Come on. Let, let, let's talk. Y'all talking to a guy that love the game. I know. Does Giannis and them win without Drew Holiday? We see what hope we see what they look like without Drew Holiday. Who was the one that been saying Denver ain't right without that boy Murray? Do the Joker and them win without Murray? We know they don't. So, so but, my point. No, but, is, but hold on, but that, but that is it. The MVP, the MVP. What about your best player in the world? Is that a third? No, no doubt. Salute you. You ain't nothing without Jamal Murray. Nothing. No, no, no. Hold on, Fabian. None of them is nothing without that guard. Whether he's 5'10 or 6'3. Put that in perspective, y'all. Put that in perspective. That's great. Hold on, Miami Heat. You know how many big, big shots Mario Chalmers hit? Once again, I'm not saying they couldn't win, but they needed those guards. And how hey, and how replaceable. Uh... Hold on, Steve Kerr. Big shots with Mike Paxson. I'm just saying. So, so stop, stop making that argument for yourself. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. I, I'm gonna leave it at that. That's all I'm gonna I say. Just, I just don't like the excuse, man. I like, I like you brought up Miami because we, we somehow forget D Wade's on that team. <laughs> They're not going to, to the four straight finals without D Wade being there. Possibly, in my opinion, definitely the third best two guard of all time. Or gonna be sometimes looking like the second best two guard of all time. That's my opinion. Different story for a different day. But the point is. Why is everyone else afforded when this is y'all on TV and you always make an excuse? Well, LeBron didn't have the team this year, and AD, you mean the top 15, top, top two, top 10 players in a lot of y'all book gets the excuse. What's their excuse? How much more do they need? How come Jalen Brunson doesn't need help? What are you people talking about? Thank you. I'm 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 I'm, I'm gonna leave it at this note. Once again, all these great players that win all these championships. It might be 99.9%. .9%. They don't have those guards next to them. They don't win. Giannis don't win without Drew over there. LeBron don't win without Rondo coming over there. He doesn't win without Kyrie hitting a big shot. Boston them don't win without Rondo over there. Uh, Joker don't win without Jamal Murray. Let's call it how it is. Steph Curry don't win without Klay Thompson. Durant don't win without Steph Curry. Hold on. You, hold on. We can keep going. Tony Parker in San Antonio. We can keep going. And Ginobili. Kyrie Irving. I mean, excuse me. Kyle Lowry in Toronto. 
All I'm saying is stop acting like you don't need these guards to play their part. Please. That's all I'm saying. Don't get my words mixed up. I'm not saying these guards are better. I'm not saying you can't win without them. I'm saying they are vital parts to winning championships. In some of these instances we're talking about, you don't win without those guys. You don't. Dimmer does. Steve Kerr said it. The head of the snake is Jamal Murray. Boston Celtics, Garnett, and Pierce do not win without Rajon Rondo. They'll tell you that. So don't tell me you can't win with uh, look at Jason Terry with Dallas. That series he had. 